Hello, survivors, and welcome to Gonex Gaming. And we are here in Alpha 19. We are on the B173 build, branch, patch, whatever you want to call it. And it has been uh, a little bit since I put up a Seven Days of Die video. I kind of showed off a horde base at day seven. I do plan on bringing that same horde base back with the upgrades for day 14 uh, in our progression. It's just kind of doing a progression. We are here in a completely different uh, save, build, world, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it is a random gen. I wanted to see how this was holding up in random gen with the new patches and see if there was any lag or any problems with player spawns or skill points or dying on spawn and everything else uh, on the load of the game. We're in day 17 here, and it's kind of just like a, a personal playthrough, if you will. For me, but I wanted to kind of throw something up here for you guys to kind of see where I'm at. And I just took over basically a regular POI, a house, um, not really next to a trader, uh, like I was doing in the No Chance for Survival series. However, we did take over a POI, and I've been working on this for a while. I liked this one because it has some pretty solid walls here, and it has this really solid door for 10,000 hit points. It's been doing pretty good, so. Um, you can see little bits and pieces on the sides there as I do bring this out and I will show you this is kind of what I've been working on and start to get it going so I just like to take over a POI and just turn it into something whatever vision that I have my workbench is here I got my forge and my cement mixer and all of my storage I love these new storage boxes where they have the writable storage box you can uh, write right on it instead of putting a whole bunch of signs kind of saves on the resources for wood and, and iron and nails and everything else and uh, nice little touch that they've added in there I absolutely love that they're doing this or that they did this so that's fantastic there's my bedroll um, there was the main loot in this house here and this chest is still sitting here because well it's 7,000 hit points I don't feel like breaking it up there is my land claim block and my campfire to cook and my food storage there is a vault door there we've kind of upgraded pretty nicely and we've been upgrading the walls. These outside walls are pretty much cement. Uh, and then these are the cobblestone here. So we don't really need to do too much upgrading on that side of things. But we uh, have a ladder going up. I'll show you that in a second. Kind of do a little bit of a tour here. We'll go down here first. And this is just kind of like a mining area that I have going. I haven't found any resources here other than stone. But this goes all the way down to bedrock. I am not going to climb all the way down there. That is not necessary. It goes all the way down to bedrock and opens up down there as well. I'll probably wind up putting the forges and the chem stations down there when I do get the, when I do get multiple ones running. This way I'm not calling in uh, too many sp screamers. And, uh, yeah, because when these guys are running, uh, they're cooking, they're going to call in the screamers for sure, especially chem stations and the forges together. Anyway, let's go on out here and take a look. And we're going to see a tremendous amount of work that we did here. Let me turn on my helmet light. This was all, like, different rooms here. and There's a room there. And a bathroom, a couple of different rooms, and I knocked it all out. Left this one in here to kind of for support, and uh, this was kind of my way in for the longest time. But I recently closed this closed this up because I have a new way in now. Again, sometimes the visions just take over, and I start building stuff. And I decided to build myself a ramp out of here that goes up to the top here, where I have my bicycle and my mini bike, and then a drawbridge. So we have the drawbridge here, and it goes out to another section there, and it drops down on another ramp, and yep. So we got so far. So another ramp here. It works out beautifully for us so that we have a way in and out, and the zombies do not. They do come around every once in a while, and they start beating on the front of the place. Uh, you can see I have my uh, robotic sledge out front there uh, by where the front door used to be. I closed it all off. I'll show you from the inside. Uh, with cobblestone at this point, but they've beaten through this a couple times. You can see there's some damage there too. And uh, I put my robotic sledge right outside there so that if they do come to this area to hit on the wall, and they do it frequently, I don't know if because the door used to be here, it kind of still marks it for the zombies. Maybe when I upgrade it to cement, they'll stop doing it. I don't know, but they keep tending to come right to the spot here and beat on it. So that's out there to kind of slow them down and discourage them a, a wee bit. If we can, let's come on out over here and we'll run up to uh, the ladder here so you guys can kind of take a look and see what I'm doing here. Uh, there was a room here. This floor, this floor broke out, uh, but we've kind of filled it back in to kind of fill it out. And I don't really have any plans for this room. Maybe it'll be a storage area at some point. 
Uh, I doubt it. I just kind of finished it. Just like kind of left it as it is. Maybe I'll finish it off. Maybe I won't. We'll see. Um, there's an area up there where you kind of come across to get back down through here. It's a dungeon style uh, POI where you have to kind of work your way through to get to the main loot. Come up here to the roof. And this is our farm. In this game, you definitely need to, in this version of the game anyway, you definitely need to uh, keep an eye on your food stuff. And food is very difficult to come across. Uh, and keeping your hunger from dropping too low is very difficult to do as well. The food got easier in the last couple of patches where there's more animals out and around and about. Um, so they're def definitely plentiful. But then just trying to get something that's sustainable, like grilled meat doesn't last very long. And it takes it takes a long time for you to kind of like get anywhere with your hunger. If you're doing just the, uh, the grilled meat and stuff, you got to do the other meals like the stews and the steak and fries and stuff like that. So we got our corn over here. We have some aloe growing. Finally, we found some of that. Start making our own first aid stuff. We have goldenrod for the poops. You know, when you get the shits, you got to have the goldenrod. And then the chrysanthemum for our red tea. Hoping that I can find more chrysanthemums so I can plant that as well. And then we have our potatoes here, which are super important for, like, all of our stews and stuff like that. Um, we have the mushrooms are inside the base. I don't know if we'll put them out here. Maybe eventually we'll move them out here. But right now, this is kind of what we have going. And it's a small little farm, and it uh, kind of does its uh, its things, and it serves its purpose. And we can definitely extend it and keep building, building it out and adding to it. There's plenty of room up here to kind of work. And it gets plenty of sun and rain and all that stuff, and I don't know if that really affects how the plants grow, but in case it does. But mushrooms, they kind of grow in caves, so they're over here growing up on the wall right now. And I definitely need to get more mushrooms because it's not enough for what we want to do when it comes to food stuff, so... Our food storage is doing pretty good. Like I said, meat is plentiful. We are pretty much past the point where we're doing grilled meat because it's just not worth it anymore. I'm trying to stick to the steak and potato meal, but that requires potatoes and mushrooms and then meat and uh, I think animal fat as well. So you got to pick up as much animal fat as you possibly can along the way. But that's kind of what we have here, and it's uh, something I've been playing at. I just wanted to kind of quickly show you the things that I can't imagine up when I, when I do have some time to really focus on the gameplay. Um, YouTube and the videos, they're hard, man. They're not, they're not easy to do at all. It's, uh, you're trying to entertain and say something entertaining while you're playing and at the same time focus on building shit. It's just, it's tough sometimes. It's not, it's not an easy, easy gig at all. And, uh, I enjoy doing it. It's a, it's a hobby for me. It's not something that's like, it's definitely not my full-time job. If it was, I'd be, uh, I'd be out in the street and I wouldn't be doing this. That's for sure. Uh, if it was a full-time job because I ain't making any money doing it, but that's fine. It's not what it's here for. Uh, I have a good full-time job, and I'm happy with it. So I love doing YouTube stuff, and I love sharing. Uh, I want to build a community to the point where we have a whole bunch of people coming in. Maybe we do a server someday, and we have people playing on a server. I do play on another YouTuber server, uh, friends and stuff, and we play on the server. And the, the servers are a lot of fun. You get a whole bunch of people in there. As long as they're all friendly and nobody's trying to, like, steal each other's shit and kill each other all the time it's actually pretty cool especially if you're a builder like me i don't want to go in and pvp people i'm just not that type i can care less about killing other players i want to be able to take on the zombies and the hordes build something epic and just kind of survive the game if i can and just continue to build and see where my vision takes me when i do it so that's what it's about for me folks and that's kind of really what it's going to be so just a short video kind of show you where we're at, I'll show you up here too. There's really not much to kind of talk about up here. There's not a whole heck of a lot going on. Um, this is that room that we came up before with the ladder, so it's open now to kind of come in. But cleared out all the stuff that was here. I'll have the lantern because it lights it up along the way. But this here was kind of a bathroom and then a room here. We took out all the broken stuff and opened it up again. And this has all been opened up. This was the way up through the house to get to the other side when all of these doors were locked and closed and... All that good stuff so and that's really it that's what it is we can kind of sit here and and watch maybe we'll put some turrets up here at some point so this way if they do make it past the initial spot they'll have more turrets we'll put some along the way uh, on the sides there too uh, at some point but we do hear a zombie so maybe if we want to kind of go on out and see where they are they're gonna be a runner because we're playing on run here 
It's probably in the front of the house, I'm sure. Yep. Right there at the front door, like I said. And this time he was kind of staying away from the sledge. You might have to move that sledge over a little bit. Sneaky bastard. He was all the way over here. Now they're starting to hit on that wall instead. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's pick up the sledge and move it over slightly, shall we? Kind of put it, maybe we'll put it right like over here or something. This way where they're coming up the stairs, they'll get whacked. Screw them. Let them take a beating. Damn zombies. I'm trying to mess up my building. Now I have to go get some cobblestone and some cement and fix that. But anyway, that's going to do it for this one, folks. Uh, I will have that day 14 uh, horde base up pretty soon. Uh, just working on getting that kind of squared away. And uh, yeah, other stuff on the channel. Seven, uh, seven Days to Die. Do a new series when it goes stable, for sure. Uh, we have the Space Engineers, uh, kind of like a little pet project of mine, where I'm doing it kind of roleplay style. And I got a dog outside. A dog or, or a wolf of some sort. We'll have to go take care of those. But anyway, thanks for stopping by, folks. I'll see you around. Bye-bye. Damn dogs, I tell you. Never catch a break.